Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wizarding Vault, the safest place in the Wizarding world. In today's video, I'll be going through my top tips for visiting the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. Number 5. Do a photo opportunity. Whilst it may seem a little bit daunting when you first see some cues for the photo opportunities, don't let that put you off. You may even feel a little bit silly playing in front of the camera, but when else are you really gonna be able to play in front of a green screen? And you almost feel like you're making the next Harry Potter. Tip number four, don't wait until the end shop to get something. Now, it may seem a little bit backwards to what you usually do with theme park shops, but trust me, if you see something in one of the shops whilst you're going through, so Platform 9 3 quarters or the Forbidden Forest shop, get what you need from those shops whilst you can. Only saying this because I missed out on an opportunity when I first went. I went into one of the shops in Platform 9 3 quarters, really liked some of the stuff in there, got to the end shop thinking, oh, they're going to have the exact same items, and no. Got there, didn't have any of them. Thankfully, the girl who was working in the shop, I asked her if any of the stock was here. She said no, it's only available in the other shop, but she was happy to go and get the item because thankfully it was just the one item. But I just recommend that if you wanted something from there, and as if you had needed an excuse to get something from the shop. So. But especially things like the journals from the Platform 9 3 quarters shop, you can only get those personalised on platform nine and three quarters, so I definitely recommend, if you want one of those, get them whilst you're there. Number three, special events and going at different times of the year. So what I mean by this is if you're usually one of those people who go on your birthday every year, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, carry on. But I'd recommend trying to go to the studio tour at a different point of the year. So Halloween or Christmas are usually quite good examples of this. They have different sets laid out during the different times of the year. So for the Halloween one, they have all the pumpkins and for the Christmas one, they have the Christmas trees and the Yule Ball theme. Whilst the summer is usually great for like getting the pictures outside, the winter is great for the different sets on the inside. So you can get different photos going throughout the year. Also, with special events that they hold throughout the year, are a great way to experience a tour, but without the huge crowds there. Because it's a restricted number of visitors for these special events, it's usually just a small group of people going through at a time. Also, with the special event that I went to, it was a celebration of costumes. So everyone was dressed up and it was an amazing opportunity to get loads of photos with everyone and meet different people who were really enthusiastic about the wisdom world. Number two, arrive before your scheduled time. Now, what I mean by this is on your when you buy your ticket, you're buying the entry to the studio tours, not to the lobby area. When you buy your ticket, you can turn up as early as you like. You have bought your ticket for entry into the building for the day, pretty much. So if your ticket says to arrive at 10, you could arrive at 9 if you really wanted to. I definitely recommend doing this because if you arrive early, you're in a much calmer mood. Because I've seen so many people who have rushed to arrive have gotten there exactly when the ticket state, so about 15 minutes before the tour starts, are running through the lobby to get to the queue, and then feel stressed and carry on being in a rush when you're in the studio tours, which isn't what it's meant to be about. You are encouraged to take your time. I mean, I've never really gone through the studio tours quicker than three hours. So I definitely recommend arriving with plenty of time before the tour starts. So you can go to the lobby, you can go to the toilet, you can get something to eat or drink, and you can actually go into the gift shop at the beginning. You can't then go into the tour from the shop, but you can go in and get a few pieces if you wanted to get, let's say a wand, or your a Hogwarts robe or something, I don't know. But if you wanted to get that beforehand, definitely recommend doing that. Tip number one. Get your tickets 
early. Now, I mean this in two cents. So get them early because, so early on in the year, because they sell out so quickly, especially if you're after a particular date. What I also mean is to get them early on in the day. If you get them, let's say you get like the 10 o'clock tour in the morning, once you're into the tour and past the Great Hall, you can spend as much time as you want actually in the tour. You're not rushed through each section. The only section you are ushered out of is the Great Hall and the rest of the tour you can take at a leisurely pace. I definitely recommend doing this because then you can get to see everything in great detail. Because There's so much to look at that you never really get to see everything on, like, on a single trip. And what's great is if you then get the tickets early on in the day, you're not then rushed at the very end when it comes to the gift shop. So I've bought tickets for like four or six o'clock in the evening because I thought it'd be a bit quieter. But by the time I get to the gift shop, it's usually about 10 o'clock and that's when they start closing. So I'm always rushed through and it's a bit of a mad panic to kind of get what I want to get. So try to avoid that by getting your tickets early, going through the tour at a leisurely pace. You can have lunch in the Backlot Cafe and then all of the next section you can then enjoy as well before going into the shop. And if you get through the tour relatively quickly, you can always then stay in the lobby area until you feel that you want to leave. So if you're waiting for rush hour traffic to die down, you can always sit and wait in the cafe out in the lobby area or even just browse the shop for a bit longer. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Those were my five top tips for the studio tours in London. If you've got any tips of your own, feel free to comment those down below and let other people know how you best experience the studio tours because there's always tips that people come out with. And if you found this video useful for when you visited a studio tour, give the video a thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to click up here to subscribe to the channel and if you want to catch up with the latest video click the video just here otherwise I will see you guys in the next one